Hi, my name is Danny Saber. I want to thank academia for this opportunity, not only to recognize a great artist, but also to speak about a friend, Danny Vash. Over my career, I've had the good fortune to work with some of the greatest artists of all time. More than a few of them were my heroes, the people who inspired me to be a musician in the first place. But I've also worked with many artists who are not household names. And irregardless of their status, what ultimately meant the most to me are the many friendships that grew out of these working relationships. Perhaps no one better represents this than Danny Vash. Danny and I hit it off from the get-go, both a couple of metalheads that shared not only a first name, but the same sensibilities and tastes, especially in relation to the Church of the Electric Guitar. Rock and roll was our religion growing up. I've always believed one of the most important roles a producer plays is that of recognition, absorption, and reflection. Helping the artists refine their ideas and express them in a way that maintains the integrity of their message and sound while striving for an end result that's as accessible and appealing as possible. Removing any barriers between what's in the artist's heart and soul and what's being expressed to their audience. This is when music has the power to rise to the level of art. And what makes music unique and potentially so potent is it allows us to feel things that can't be said. With all this in mind, I can say without hesitation, Danny Vash was definitely an artist and a pro. He possessed as many if not more skills many of the more famous musicians I've worked with had, and to break or two aside, he could have easily been in a band that was a household name. And that's what I really want to get across here. It didn't matter the level of notoriety Danny gained, because external validations are not what motivated him. He was driven by something deeper than the chase for fame or the superficial rewards that come with it. He marched to his own drummer and foremost, he never gave up on his dreams. I've seen a lot of people, including some who have had hugely successful careers in their chosen paths, let life beat the innocence and that childlike quality we all start out with out of them. Danny did not allow this to happen. He always remained connected to the kid inside who was inspired to pick up a guitar in the first place and allowed that teenage spirit to guide him on every level creatively. It's staying in touch with the magic of childhood, not allowing the stress and grind of life to make you jaded. That art, in this case, music, can help us maintain this connection throughout our lives is one of the gifts its pursuit has the potential to give us. We never really know what we're capable of till we're put to the test. When Danny was told he had six months to live, he could have easily curled up into a ball and waited to die. Instead, he looked the reaper in the eye and said, fuck you. With the support of his wife, Deb, and through sheer will, he defied the science and kept moving forward and living his life. That was over five years ago. Danny finally succumbed to pancreatic cancer in November. These recordings he's being recognized for were done within months of his death. And the truth is, aside from losing a little weight and a lot of hair, when we were in the studio recording them, you would have never known unless you knew. But in reality, Danny wasn't well and the sheer amount of courage and inner strength required to deliver up to the standards he set for himself was nothing short of heroic. And in the end, that's what really matters, isn't it? Not how famous you become or how much money you make, but how you affect the people you connected with and communicated to. Ultimately, all we leave behind is our memory in the minds of the people we touched, and in Danny's case, his music. Danny's definitely an inspiration to me, and every time things get shitty, and hard, which seems to be constant these days, I can always think about being in the studio with him and just enjoying the creative process and camaraderie of a couple of kids that just wanted to play their guitars. Rest in peace, Danny Vash. Love your head.